In this video we're going to continue our series about queries and we're going to look at the wildcard character in our query criteria. Again we're going to look at our DVD rental shop database and just going back to our films table I can see there's an actor field here labeled mem actor and just looking at that in datasheet view I'll go into films we can see that possibly this is poorly designed uh, if I was going doing this again I might have a many to many relationship between the actors table and this field here and have this as a foreign key but in any case it gives us a good place where we can start talking about wildcard characters so if I want to put a criteria on this field the fact that any one actress or actor here is surrounded by other actors could complicate how well we can find or return these records in a dynaset that's the result of a query so let's go into our query design let's go into create query design and here I'm going to just add in the films table and some things I want to base on I want to find all the different film names and maybe years released of any films that have Clint Eastwood starring in them now again based on the way that we've set up that actor field if I just put in Clint Eastwood as is without any kind of wildcard character on it and run that query it won't return any records in my resultant set so I go back to design and because of my knowledge the way that this actors field is set up I'll need to surround Clint Eastwood with uh, the asterisk which is the wildcard character in access queries by putting in the asterisk before Clint Eastwood and after Eastwood what I'm saying is I don't mind what is surrounded in that field as long as the string Clint Eastwood occurs somewhere in that field I want that record returned so if I run it this time I see that I'll get my two different Clint Eastwood films, Pale Rider and Unforgiven, and I can see the way that that actors feels where they didn't work before when I just put in Clint Eastwood. By putting in those asterisk wildcard characters, suddenly it's bringing back those records. Next we'll continue on the next video just working with the not keyword in query design.